power. It doesn't start with a bang. It starts here, microscopic. And here, where 2,700 degrees of heat births the backbone of the American Navy. The Arleigh Burke Flight 3, a billion dollar paradox of brute force and silicon brain. This is the story of how the world's most advanced warship is forged. From the atom to the ocean, building the Iron Shield. The challenge was impossible. Fit a radar twice as powerful onto a hull designed in the 1980s. Physics has limits. The Flight 3 pushes every single one of them. It begins with high tensile steel, thousands of tons of it. Computer-guided plasma torches slice through inches of armor like butter. Robots do the easy lines, but the critical joints, that takes human hands. We don't build a ship. We build 50 small ships and weld them together. The margin for error is measured in millimeters on a structure the size of a skyscraper. Flight 3 is hungry. It needs a power grid capable of lighting a small city. The upgrade to Ford 160 volts changed everything. Four gas turbines, the same engines that drove a Boeing 747, now driving a warship. Transferring 100,000 horsepower to the water requires steel shafts as thick as tree trunks. Sculpted bronze, tuned for silence, designed for speed. While the hull is born in fire, the eyes are born in absolute purity. Gallium nitride, GAN. This material is the secret weapon of Flight 3. Radar modular assemblies, like building blocks, scalable, repairable. In the silent chamber, we teach the radar to see. 30 times more sensitive than its predecessor. It can see a periscope in a hurricane. The arrays travel hundreds of miles to meet the hull. A delicate multi-million dollar eye, suspended by steel cables. When the radar is bolted on, the ship ceases to be just steel. It becomes sentient. Electronics generate heat, massive heat. The cooling system is the ship's sweat glands. Angles designed to deflect enemy radar. A paradox, seeing everything while trying to be invisible. Haze gray, not just a color, but a camouflage against the sea and sky. Thousands of workers, millions of man hours, all for this moment. The ocean comes to greet the new iron giant. 9,700 tons of steel floats. Archimedes would be proud. Move to the fitting out pier. The shell is done. Now for the organs. 300 miles of cable. Much of it pulled by human muscle. This is a floating data center. Processing power that rivals a university campus. The view from the bridge soon to be nothing but horizon. Aegis Baseline 10, the software that fuses radar, sonar, and weapons into one brain. To sustain 300 sailors, you need an industrial kitchen capable of four meals a day. Privacy is a luxury. Efficiency is the rule. 
testing the anchor. 9,000 pounds per link, a fail safe for the ship. First ignition, the heart of the beast begins to beat. The shipbuilders are done. Now the sailors take ownership. Alpha trials, the first time she moves under her own power. Deep water, this is where the Flight 3 belongs. The flank speed run, pushing the engines to the red line. Testing the tactical diameter. Can she dance? From 30 knots to zero, the momentum battle is immense. Calibrating the eyes against real targets for the first time. Simulating a saturating attack. Can the computer handle the chaos? Structural integrity check. The recoil shakes the entire frame. Soft kill measures. Confusing enemy sensors with a cloud of metal. A curtain of air bubbles to mask the noise of the machinery. The signature. The Navy accepts the ship. She is now a warship. Man our ship and bring her to life. Training is over. The real mission begins. Between the high-tech drills, the ancient rhythm of the sea remains. Even with a billion dollar radar, the Mark I human eyeball is essential. Refueling at 15 knots, a dance of hydrodynamics. 96 cells, each one a silo for a different kind of thunder. Land attack missiles that can reach deep into enemy territory. The standard missile six. The shield against aircraft and cruise missiles. Tracking ballistic threats outside the atmosphere. The ultimate high ground. She doesn't just fight alone. She directs the fleet. The flight deck extends the ship's reach by hundreds of miles. A floating garage maintaining complex aircraft in salt spray. <laughs> Every sailor is a firefighter because at sea, there is no 911 ready for combat casualties or a simple flu outbreak. Before a missile is even fired, the ship fights with invisible beams. Jamming, decoying. The view from the chair. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Red light preserves night vision. In the dark, we are hunters. Norfolk, the beating heart of the Atlantic fleet. Iron row upon iron row. A symbol of force passing a symbol of freedom. They need each other. To the west, the gateway to the vast Pacific theater. Passing the Arizona. A reminder of why we build them this strong. Beneath the waves, a rubber dome filled with thousands of hydrophones. If the sonar hears a threat, the response is swift. Mess deck, where rank is left at the door. 
and rumors are born. Fuel for the engines and fuel for the crew. Strong and black. Iron ship. Iron will. Fitness is a duty, not a hobby. A floating city with all the amenities of home compressed into steel boxes. A care package from 6,000 miles away. The most valuable cargo on board. The North Atlantic doesn't care about technology. It only respects steel. Keeping the watch, hour after hour, through any weather. Active fin stabilizers, computer-controlled wings that fight the roll of the ocean. Engineering, bridge, answer bells. Deep inside, the central control station monitors every heartbeat of the machinery. Waste heat, the byproduct of 100,000 horsepower. To an enemy radar, this 500-foot giant looks like a small fishing boat. The phalanx, the last line of defense, autonomous and terrifyingly fast. Five-inch shells, old-school ballistics meeting digital fire control. Reloading is a surgical procedure, one canister at a time. A ship is steel, but a warship is a crew led by one voice. The XO runs the city, schedules, discipline, maintenance. The chiefs, the backbone, <laughs> where the real knowledge lives. 19 years old, responsible for a weapon system worth millions. from every state, every background, united by the uniform. The rituals of the sea connect them to history. Landing on a moving postage stamp in the dark, pure skill. We own the night. Advancement requires study. The learning never stops. Moments of peace in a machine of war. The war against rust is the only war that never ends. Sweepers, sweepers, man your brooms. Cleanliness is safety. Order is survival. Processing waste, leaving no trace on the ocean. Turning salt water into 10,000 gallons of fresh water a day. Thirsty engines. The logistics chain stretches across the globe. Designed with excess power for the weapons of tomorrow. Directed energy, lasers. The only radar capable of tracking the hypersonic threat. A node in a network that reaches from the seabed to orbit. The shotgun rider, protecting the aircraft carrier, the queen of the fleet. Ready to rescue any aviator who ends up in the drink. Nine thousand tons of American diplomacy parked in a foreign harbor. Warriors, yes, but also first responders to the world's disasters. Hundred thousand shaft horsepower, turning the ocean into foam.
She handles like a sports car, despite the weight of a skyscraper. Full reverse! The whole frame shudders under the torque. Named after Arlie Burke, the Destroyer Man's Destroyer Man. A lineage that goes back decades. Refined. Perfected. Bigger. Heavier. Smarter. The ultimate evolution of the class. Expensive? Yes. But peace is priceless. Supported by an industrial base of thousands of suppliers across 50 states. Built in small towns with big pride. I welded that seam. I built that ship. The hardest part of the deployment, coming home. The sacrifice is shared by the families waiting on the pier. <laughs> but ships are made to sail. The cycle begins again. The sun sets on the water, but the watch never ends. Where this ship goes, America goes. Cutting a path through history. The eyes that never blink. The shield of the fleet. The Arleigh Burke Flight 3. A masterclass in naval engineering. The Iron Guardian of the 21st century.